So in the process of re-welding, the carburetor caught on fire. And I'm not even lying about that. Because I had the carburetor uncovered and it caught on fire. And look, my weld came on down again. So you guys can watch me weld it back together. We've got mobile welding stations. You guys will be able to see that in a minute. Alright, so we've got the window there. I might come into the frame. Pick that up. Take this. Get your welding helmet. Alright, now that little plastic thing is burning. You guys can see all the smoke. Bottom there. So, let's get this thing a restart. This thing is pretty tight. Sounds cool, too. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the smoke that's going to come out of it, but you guys will see me in the frame. So ignore me. And, hey. Yeah, I look a little messy today because I just woke up. But the carburetor still works. It's kind of fire, so... <laughs> Look at this. So the plastic melted on the carb and on the flywheel control. You guys can see that from the fire. <laughs> Isn't this great? Careful with welding, kids. It can be deadly. Melt your carb. Holy shit, man. I can't believe it melted this effing carb. Well, now I need parts. That's not gonna work. This thing's totaled. Great. Great shit. I didn't even notice the fire until like probably a minute after it started. So, I guess I'll just have to do it by hand. <laughs> this is funny. So those are no longer usable. And this is kind of effed up. So, never weld with your thing exposed.
Well, now I'm effed. So the carburetor is completely melted. And this thing's screwed. And that weld just came undone. Great. Great. Alright, so carburetor melted because it caught on fire. And this is what I'm left with. A worthless piece of junk. Great. I have an old carb. Probably throw it on here. Use the diaphragm from this one. And I need a new flap for the uh, flywheel. Or I'll just try to. I don't know. Work something out. Drill a new hole in it. I don't know. Till then, it's absolutely screwed. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the uh, blue blown up Bob Brooks and Stratton. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. I almost forgot to make a video explaining um, that I'm getting ready to tear this thing apart. But I'm already in the process of tearing it apart. There's the exhaust right there. It's, you know, pretty cool. Just take the exhaust off. Checking this bolt over here because I uh, kind of stripped it out a little bit when I was trying to put that screw back in. Because it was being a hoe. It wouldn't go. So um, now I gotta fix the linkages, and I'm gonna redrill a hole in the uh, whatever the hell you wanna call that thing. Got the old carburetor for the old one, or the old carburetor that used to sputter and things like that. But I'm hoping if I use the diaphragm from this one, I can get it to work because this carburetor, man, it's screwed. So hopefully I can get it going or get it, you know, changed out and working. So you know. Alright, so so far what I've done is put the old carburetor back on there. There's a little itty tiny cracks in the primer bulb, but whatever. Um, cleaned it out in there. And then drilled a new hole in the uh, flat thingamajigger. And so far on, uh, so far, whatever. Reattach this hank, and yeah, this thing should be getting ready to go. Oh, and I gotta put the this gasket on here. All right, and this was having a little bit of stick issue where it would stick up here, but that's because a piece of plastic melted to the um, metal. And I hope that this isn't gonna break off because if it does, it's possibly gonna break off and go all the way to full throttle. And yeah. And then I took off the cable from the back, um, so that didn't have to worry about that. And look what it did to the paint. It, it made it all ucky.